Good morning, guys. It is Thursday. It's my last day of work for the week. Now, I'm supposed to be working on my fan fiction right now, but I'm not doing that because <laughs> Curiosity Killed the Cat, but Satisfaction brought it back. I decided I was getting ready. I have the episode guide for um, Heroes on Both Sides Up, and there's an article on the sidebar called um, Eight Crazy American Horror Story Apocalypse Fan Theories. Now, for those of you... Oh, sheesh. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get my camera to work, and it's not being good. Okay. For those of you who don't know, and I was like, seriously, who doesn't know, American Horror Stories is an anthology TV series that started, I want to say when I was still in high school, early college. It's in its eighth season, and it just kind of blew everybody out of the water. What I think surprised a lot of people is American Horror Story was created by the same people who created Glee. So this, it was... I don't know. The first season was called Murder House. Then there was Asylum. Then there was Coven. Um, Freak Show. Hotel. And last season's was called Cult. And so this season is American Horror Story Apocalypse. And the thing was, was the season kind of jumped back. and Oh, and then Roanoke. Roanoke came before Cult. I forgot one. <laughs> so there's been, Asi there's been Murder House. Asylum. Coven. Freak Show, Hotel, Roanoke, Cult, and now um, Apocalypse. So that's eight seasons. And I I said this, I like being scared. I'm easily scared, but I enjoy being scared. I like horror. So um, let me open up. Now I'm going to keep my blinds closed. So it's very interesting that um, American Horror Story is very can be very, very scary. It can be very, very dark. It can be very, very gory, and I am not the type of girl who likes gore. It's why I don't watch, like, slasher fix. I don't like gore. I am not into gore porn, as my brother and I termed it. So we are not into slasher fix. However, I have watched, and I will admit this, I have watched a lot of American Horror Story. I started with Murder House. I made it through, like, the first five episodes, three or four or five episodes, before I got too scared. I stopped watching it. I made it through, um, I want to say I made it through, like, the first half of Coven, then I stopped. I made it through the first, I think I made it almost all the way through Freak Show, then I stopped because they killed off a character. I thought, why did you kill her off? And that's just the thing, this character was totally innocent, and Freak Show, and her story does not slide away from killing off popular character. So I stopped watching because I killed off my favorite character. <laughs> um, I barely, I don't even think, I, I think I made it almost halfway through um, Hotel and I was really excited about Hotel because Lady Gaga was in Hotel. I thought she was amazing in Hotel. So I made it almost halfway through Hotel. I'm sorry, Vampire Kids freaked me out. Um, I made it I want to say, I don't even think I made it through episode three of Roanoke, and then I don't even think I made it past episode one of Cult. So, yeah, um, actually, I'm going to open my curtains. It's gotten cloudy out. There you go. We shall shed a little light on the situation. Ow! I just slammed my back into my bed. So... Yeah, the, um, that the only season of American Horror Story I have ever watched all the way through was season two, Asylum, which I have to say is probably one of the more darker, twisted seasons of this show. But that's the only one I made it all the way through. And I guess it's because it had, for me, Asylum had one of the best storylines, some of the best characters, some of the best twists. So for me, that was like the pin, that was my favorite season. And again, that was the only one I actually watched all the way through because I am such a gigantic scaredy cat. So, since I didn't really watch, I don't think I watched anything from Cult. And so I haven't been paying attention. I knew they were doing another season of American Horror Story. I haven't heard anything. And then I decide out of curiosity, go to YouTube, see if there's trailers. I saw all the teas little snippet teasers and I'm sitting there going what the heck I'm confused because it's called Apocalypse and then I watched the teaser trailer they posted um a couple days ago and 
yeah, one day ago they posted one, and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Um, and it seems like that this is their fi they hinted in the past couple of seasons that all the seasons have been linked in some way. Um, famously, they did this with Coven with I'm um, not Coven. They famously did this with Freak Show and Asylum, where the character Peppa fr Pepper from Asylum was originally part of Elsa's Freak Show. So they have linked. Um, then that way, there's been, I guess, links, there's been links between the murder house and the hotel, and so they're trying, so they say there are links to all the seasons, and I watched the teaser for an apocalypse, for AH, AHS Apocalypse, and watching it and seeing them make this big deal about how at long last, after eight years, all, they're bringing all the stories together, we're finally going to see them connecting, we're finally going to see all these really, all these characters just colliding and coming together. And so it's like, to me, I don't want to say this because I know how popular AHS is. I mean, I like it. And like I said, I didn't even watch last season because I was so scared of it. Um, it really kind of feels like with them going through and finally connecting the dots, saying this is how everything is interconnected. This is how all the characters are going to come together in a, this apocalyptic themed show. It really feels like that this could be the final season of American Horror Story. And I kind of don't want to say that, but I got, I've kind of gotten the same vibe from um, The Handmaid's Tale. I've watched, I haven't been able to watch the full second season, but I have seen enough of it to get the idea of what's going on. And, well, okay, I'll say I've watched the episodes, but just the way the end, how the end of the second season is set up for The Handmaid's Tale and with their idea, what I've read about what's going to happen in the third season so far. It really kind of feels like to me, maybe The Handmaid's Tale, the third season, is going to be the final season. Again, I don't want to say that because The Handmaid's Tale has been an incredible TV show from the start. Just like I don't want to say this is going to be American Horror Story's final season because it's just been an amazing show from the start. Um, I definitely think um, when they cut the, the season back, because originally, the series, what the season was very, very long, and in Asylum they actually had a Christmas themed episode. Um, but a couple of years ago, they decided they were going to scale that back, cut back the number of episodes because, they, as they said, not all people want to be scared during Christmas. So, um, I just don't want this to be AHS's final season. So I really hope I'm wrong that Handmaid's Tale is not ending after three seasons, season three, and that this will not be AHS's final season. But with the fact that it is titled Apocalypse and they're making this big deal that they're finally getting all the care, all these really popular, iconic characters from the series together for this season, it kind of really feels like that this is what's going to happen is it's going to be the final season. I don't want it to be the final season. So um, with that said, I'm going to watch the American Horror Story Apocalypse Season 8 official trailer which dropped 18 hours ago, so I have not seen it yet. Like I said, I just went through and watched a bunch of the um, short trailers that was put together, and I watched the teaser trailer, so I haven't seen this one yet. So hopefully it says a little more light on what's going to happen, because at this point, I am totally confused. And going by what I've seen in the teasers, the only thing I can think of is Apocalypse, Demons, and Kids. And those are like the three scariest things to me. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to find, watch this if I can get to it. So let's watch. Why did I do that? There we go. The trailer. I feel like I should be holding on to something right now. Okay. We're going to zoom out. There we go. Zoom out a little bit. No need for the rules anymore. The chaos has won. There's a plane waiting for us. Well, I am never ever getting on a plane. Welcome to Outpost 3. The house rules are simple. You may never leave the building due to the danger of radiation contamination and no unauthorized copulation. No exception. What's happening out there? It's all wrong. Boring! Strangely satisfying, isn't it? Dispensing punishment. It's our world now to remold as we see fit. Um. Oh, zombies! What do you seek? Hail Satan. What? Oh, wow. Um. Oh, wow. Um. 
that's a lot. Um, that is, um, wow. I, that did not answer, answer my questions. Um, okay, let's see. I saw, obviously, the end of the world, the apocalypse. So, that's how it got its title. Um, I'm trying to figure out Sarah Paulson's character. I don't know if that's the woman from Cult that is part of the um, ultra feminist thing, but um, she apparently has an outpost where she's gathered a bunch of lucky survivors and it looks like she is very, very twisted. Um, um, zombies. I don't know if I've ever said this before. Zombies are my least favorite horror thing because I call zombies the cheap scare, even when they're done right, because death is such a common fear. I think the whole idea of zombies has been so overplayed um, in recent years. I've never seen The Walking Dead. Um, I don't, I've never liked zombies. I've never liked that concept. I've always thought they've just been a really cheap, easy scare because pretty much everybody at some point is going to be afraid of death. And what is more scary than a bunch of walking, rotting corpses? Because you're basically like, this is a glimpse of the future. Um, so I don't, I'm not really a fan of zombies. Um, Walking Dead made them kind of, kind of interesting, but I, no, I'm i not a big fan of The Walking Dead. I've seen, like I said, I've never really watched an episode, but I, since I'm not a fan of zombies, The Walking Dead doesn't appeal to me. So seeing zombies in American Horror Story, I'm going, uh, uh, kind of, not really. So I'm not really into the zombies. I did see, I do think I, that's what I saw. I saw a bunch of people eating a corpse. So I really do think I saw zombies. So not really liking the zombie factor, you know, I think it's one of the, and that's another thing. I think whenever somebody does like an end of the world horror thing, a horror story, they always want to throw in the zombies. And I think that is such an easy thing to do. Like I said, it's such a cheap trick. So I'm not really a big fan of zombies. Um, I'm not really a big fan of end of the world movies, but um, what am I going to do? So, um, so I think I saw zombies, not really... I'm not really sure about it. Um, and then, of course, we hear, Hail Satan. And I'm like, oh, the Antichrist. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, it looks like they're trying to cram a lot of, like, end of the world type tropes and stuff into the series. So, I think it's going to be interesting. Um, what shocked me is there really wasn't any kind of mention of kids. And that seemed like such a big thing in the lead up to this trailer. Even in the teaser trailer posted yesterday. There was a reference. There was a little girl saying she needed a new friend. So there were references to kids. Um, some of the, One of the first little mini trailers I saw was literally an embryo in an hourglass. Um, there was always, most of the videos involved kids laughing, kids crying, like kids turning into demonic laughter, stuff like that. So it really seems like, huh, that's really weird that they don't really make a mention of kids when it seems like there's been such a big part of it so I don't know I'm gonna have to find some way to watch it and it looks interesting like I said there's a lot of stuff that I'm not a big fan of in movies I'm not a big fan of the end of the world type stuff I'm not a big fan of the zombies so I'm not even really a big fan of the antichrist movies end of the world stuff so it's not so it looks interesting and I will check it out simply because I do like American Horror Story I have liked it it scares the bejesus out of me to the point where I've only made it through ever one full season. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to give it a shot and, and see what happens. But I, I honestly, I really don't know. So thank you guys for watching. Drop me a comment below. Check out the American Horror Story Apocalypse Season 8 official trailer. And tell me what you guys think. Are you guys a fan of American Horror Story? Do you think that with them bringing all the seasons together like this, it's going to be the final season? And do you think, just watch the trailer, tell me how you feel. Are you excited for this? Is this something you could be interested in? So drop me a line. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.